So I hear you're considering getting a reptile. I think that's a good choice. The next question is, which one's right for you? We have selected from numerous reptiles that you could potentially consider, five that we consider to be the best. At least for people who are getting into the reptile hobby, maybe who've never kept a reptile before, perhaps who've never had a pet before. All of these reptiles have a few things in common that we think are important no matter which one you get. One of them is that they're readily available. Anyone can go out and find one of these reptiles in their local pet store, somewhere nearby, they're not gonna to have to go online, find a specialty breeder, they're everywhere. Second, it's gotta be affordable. Not something that's gonna cost you a thousand, two thousand dollars. They gotta be easy to house. You might be able to get an inexpensive reptile, but if it's gonna need half your house eventually, that might not be ideal for everyone. They gotta be easy to feed. Like finding the reptile in the first place, if you've gotta get a specialty diet from who knows where every week, that's gonna be too much. And the last thing is, they gotta be kinda fun to play with. Fun to watch, they can't stress out overly easily. You gotta be able to get them out, maybe children can play with them. I think at that point, what you've got is a really good pet. So this is the bearded dragon. And the bearded dragon of the lizards that we're looking at is probably the best one for handling. For one thing, they're a lot bigger and more robust than some of the other lizards that we've looked at. You could hand this over to a small child and as long as they don't squeeze it too hard or pull on it, it's gonna be okay. They're just a little bit tougher, a little more solid. Excellent little lizards. Second, they are adorable. Very personable lizards. This is the only lizard I know of that you could stick it up on your shoulder and it'll still be there in an hour. You can. Put them in, on the seat of your car. You're just gonna climb up, hang out. What a fun, fun pet. There are some downsides. Like all of these, they're not for everyone. One thing about these that's gonna be more difficult than some of the other reptiles we've looked at is that their diet is a little bit more specialized. They're gonna need fresh greens on a daily basis and they're gonna need insect feeders. A lot of insect feeders compared to the other reptiles that we've looked at. And they're gonna need those on a regular basis. So you're gonna have to have a constant supply of insect feeders and fresh greens as well as nutritional supplements for them. The other thing is they need the most expensive lighting. They need UVB lighting, and that means you're gonna need to buy a, a UV bulb at least every six months to a year, depending on the type that you get, and those can be somewhat expensive. However, if these are things that aren't gonna deter you, this is one of the best pet reptiles you could possibly get. This is a leopard gecko, and for a lot of you, the leopard gecko could be the ultimate pet reptile. They are, for starters, adorable. Look at them. While some of these reptiles might scare some of your friends, maybe even you, nobody's gonna be afraid of your leopard gecko. They're just adorable. Second off, they're very, very handleable. They're not gonna jump, they're not gonna bite, they're not gonna get scared, they're not gonna break. They are capable of losing this tail, but if you notice, it's a pretty fat tail. It's a major investment if you're gonna drop that thing so they're not gonna do it willy-nilly. They're also pretty darn low maintenance. They're very easy to keep. They're gonna need insect feeders, which can be a con for some of you. However, they don't eat a whole lot of them compared to especially something like a bearded dragon. They're just gonna eat a, a few insect feeders every week dusted with, with calcium and other vitamin supplements. They need moderate heating. Very, very easy to keep and very rewarding fun pets. This is a gargoyle gecko, and that's a crested gecko. These are both New Caledonian geckos, very, very similar care requirements, both excellent choices for your first pet reptile. Let's start with the fact, like all geckos, they're stinking adorable. Nobody's gonna dislike a gecko. They're very, very handleable. Not quite as handleable as some of the other animals that we've talked about today, but very, very handleable, very interactive. They're gonna be calm for the most part, play with you. They can jump, and some people will find that a little bit startling. Uh, they can also drop their tail. We'll talk about that later. So those could be downsides, but very handleable and very easy to feed. They're gonna eat a powder-based diet. You just add a little water, excellent. And they're very, very inexpensive to house. Something the size of a 10-gallon aquarium is perfectly adequate for an adult crested gecko or gargoyle gecko. Cons, they're going to need a small amount of daily care. You're going to need to mist them in the morning, in the evening, just a little bit, not so much that you soak things, but just enough so they have something to drink. And, and you're going to need to feed them every other night. The other thing, like I said before, they can be a little bit fragile with handling. They're smaller than some of the other animals we've talked about, which means they could get hurt. They jump, but they can lose their tail. You can see this this crested gecko here has dropped his tail and they can do that anytime they want. And with the crested geckos, it doesn't grow back. With the gargoyle geckos, it does. But that's something that you might wanna be aware of. I personally like getting one without a tail. Don't even have to worry about it. This is a corn snake. 
As far as snakes go, this is one of the best possible pets that you could get. They're very reasonable in size. This is a pretty small one. They will get larger than this, but they don't get huge, which is a wonderful thing but a very good size for handling. They're very fun to interact with. Snakes in general are a lot of fun. Generally speaking, more fun to play with than they are to watch. And, and I love playing with snakes. If you've never played with a snake before, you gotta give it a try. They also require very low amounts of daily care. Mostly you just gotta make sure everything's clean, make sure their water bowl's filled, and about once a week you're gonna need to feed them. Let's talk about feeding them, because that can be a con for some people. These guys are gonna eat rodents which means you need to get mice and rats on a regular basis, about once a week. Some people aren't going to be up for that. The other thing is some people are not going to be up for a snake at all. I don't know what it is, but some people just don't like them. And if you don't like them, it's not going to be the pet for you. However, if you do like snakes, this is a great one. This is a ball python. And ball pythons are definitely one of the best pet reptiles you could possibly get. For starters, they're a pretty robust snake without being huge. They're very moderate in size. They're actually a pretty small sized python, but nice and thick. This isn't even a real big one, but they don't get a whole lot bigger than this either. So that can be very ideal for a lot of first time reptile keepers. Second, they're fun. They're calm. See how calm this is for a snake? He will just hang out with you while you watch a movie. Not a lot of snakes that'll do that. Amazing enjoyable, enjoyable pets. Cons. If you don't like snakes, again, this is not for you. It's a snake. They also eat rodents, which if you can't get rodents or you're averse to feeding rodents to any other sort of animal, snakes in general, probably not going to be for you. Ball pythons, not for you. As snakes go, they have a reputation for being a little bit more of a finicky eater. It can vary depending on which individual it is. Uh, captive bred individuals don't tend to be nearly as finicky as wild caught, but you could end up with an unplanned pet or waste some food at times. Those are the only real cons. Wonderful, wonderful pet reptiles. As we mentioned before, every single one of these five pet reptiles is an incredible choice. You can't go wrong. Please check out our other videos. Also, as always, like and subscribe. Tell us what you picked. Tell us how you like it. Let us know what you thought. We hope to see you again real soon.